In a race that saw more than 113,000 votes cast, just 862 votes separated T.J. Cox and David Valadeo in 2018. 2020 is just as intense. Both have raised millions of dollars and there's a ferocious ad war going on out there. Both candidates wanted to clear the air after all the attack ads. What's the deal with T.J. Cox? 145,000 owed to the IRS. All my taxes are paid and it's, it's merely a distraction from the other side because they don't have a record to run on. It's why we can't go back to David Valadeo, who sided with Donald Trump 99% of the time. The reality is, is I voted for whatever I thought was best for the district. Uh, the president voted with and was on the same side, that was fine. Democrats hold a 16% voter registration edge, so Fresno State political science professor Thomas Holyoke says Valadeo is trying to position himself as a centrist. That means one has to move away from President Trump a bit, and Valadeo can only do that to a degree, he doesn't want to alienate the Republican base, particularly down in Kings County. While in office as a three-term representative, Valadeo voted to repeal the Affordable Care Act. He laid out his priorities if he returns to Congress. We're making sure we have a clean, reliable water supply for our communities, for our farmers, uh, is something that we struggle through no matter what. Common sense business policy, uh, good immigration policy. Cox counters he has made progress on water and immigration issues during his first term. Passing the Dream and Promise Act, it's bringing water to the valley, uh, certainly expanding opportunities for education. But both candidates couldn't resist getting in one last jab. It's obvious that we're running against someone who's been dishonest throughout a lot of his career. Frankly, it's the uh, Donald and David show, and people rejected that in 2018, and they're going to reject it again in 2020. Like prize fighters, they're ready for the rematch. Round two. It's, it's a toss-up, too. Dale, you're wrong. 23 ABC connecting you.